Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavender. Today I thought I'd give you a tour of my to-do list on my app. So I love, 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 love this app called Wonderlist. I use it to store all my to-dos and I'll show you how I organize it into like all these lists of like my big list and then just a list for today. You'll see. Basically my system was inspired by the book Getting Things Done by David Allen. I read that book I think like two years ago so I revamped my to-do list system after reading that book but since then I've kind of tailored it to what I want and what works for me so it's a little bit different it's not super by the book so let me just give you a tour of how it works so when you open up Wonderlist you see that there are all these lists <laughs> and you can actually create folders of lists which I love so on the top I have projects and these are just the current projects that are going on in my life that I want to focus on so so it's kind of a place where you can see an overview of what to focus on in your life. So for most things, when it comes to my mind and I'm like, oh, I have to do this thing, I put it down into my to-do list. Pretty simple, right? So the to-do is the list where I put all my tasks that are pretty general, that don't fit into a specific category. And then every day I will refresh this list, this today list. So the night before I'll move everything that needs to be done tomorrow into that today list. So today is what I focus on daily. And as I, you know, cross things off, I just check mark it. And I love that. I love checking boxes, okay? Moving on, I have a whole folder for Lavender. So the create list are all the things that I have to create, whether they're videos, graphics, and blog posts, things like that I'll throw into the create list. And then when the time comes to create them, I throw them into the today list. After that, I have a list for start a business. These are all the legal tax related things that I have to do. Not so fun, but definitely necessary. And then I have a list for rebrand. So this is a project that I'm focusing on, redesigning my website, rebranding my art. So that's another one. The next list is the workbook and mastermind. So things that I have to do related to that project. And after that, I have a list for outreach. So these are just tasks related to reaching out to people and things like that. And then I have a learn list where I keep links of classes that I want to take and just like things related to classes that I've taken in the past, things that I want to remember. Moving on, I have a list for home and a folder for going out. So a big part of the getting things done method is to separate your tasks by location. So if you have things that you need to do at home, create a separate list for home. And when you have things to do when you're out, like errands or shopping or whatever it is, then create those in separate lists as well. So that when you're in one place, you batch all the to-dos you need to do in that one spot. So you see I have the home list and then under going out I have calls that I have to make, errands that I have to make, and also my shopping list. Another thing I've recently started doing in my shop list is subcategorize by location again. So I have like a makeup subcategory, I have groceries, and then everything that I don't put in any subcategory are just things that I could buy on Amazon. So it's very general, but mostly like makeup and groceries are very specific, like when I'm at the supermarket versus when I'm at Sephora or something. And agendas is the place where I keep things that I need to talk to people about, like things I need to bring up to this person, or you know, I wanna catch up with this friend so I should hit him up soon, or I wanna give this friend a gift because they recently gave me a gift, so I have to remember things like that. Under that, I have a folder for my bucket list. So this is where I keep a list of the books I've read, my reading list of books that I want to read, my watch list, things that I want to watch on TV, Netflix, or movies, and my adventure places, places that I want to go. And I've separated them by categories like LA, OC, road trips, Japan, and even animal-related places to go. The last two lists are things I don't look at often. I just wanted a place to keep these things. So foods that I want to try cooking and songs that I love to sing, just in case, you know, I go karaoke and I forget what songs I can sing, but yeah. The last folder I'm going to go over is called later. So these are just the tasks that I want to do later. It's pretty obvious. So normally it's just like when I have an idea or I have this thing that I want to do, but it's not urgent. It's something that I don't have time for right now. I'll just dump it into my later folder 
older. So I have write my book. That's something that I cannot focus on right now. I've decided I'm gonna shift that for later while I spend this time to work on like rebranding and the workbook and stuff. So that's in my later folder. I have this whole list of like things to do later and also just list of things just because these didn't fit into any sort of category and I just like keeping lists because I'm very forgetful so everything that I want to remember I have to write down and Wonderlist is my best friend it's on the cloud so even if I delete the app on my phone I still have a copy on my computer and I think there's a website where all of this stuff is stored anyway and the folders below, I don't really use them or look at them often at all, but like I said, I just like to keep things in here just as like a memory storage, I guess. Yeah. Last thing I want to mention is I love Wonderlist for its ability to create tasks on tasks on tasks. Like you have a folder, you have lists within the folder, and then within each task, you can also open that up and make subtasks. And you can have notes, you can add files. So sometimes I attach photos. Um, I use the notes a lot of the time just to like put my words somewhere. So I just feel like there's always a place for me to put my ideas and whatever I want to get down. All right, I hope you like this tour of my my wonder list to-do list. Let me know if you have other video suggestions, things that you want to see related to organization or what's on my phone. So comment below with your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!